I have this program that replaces all tapping, but it's pretty trash and I want to rewrite it in C. The point of this program is to make it easier switching programs so that you don't need to have a stroke with your hand. This is how you look trying to find the program you want to switch to because Bill Gates keeps moving them. You don't know where Bill is going to put the program, so every time you try to switch, you lose your train of thought. We as software engineers are thinkers. Our primary job is to think. 110% of your brain should be focused on solving a problem. If you have to think about where did Billy put my program again, you just lose out on your brain power and you do a much worse job. Now the problem here is little Billy likes changing his mind. He put Chrome here and now he wants to put it on the other side of the earth for some reason. And now we want to play a little game with him. It's called Box. You don't know where he's going to put the programs, but you do know the name of the program you want to switch to. So my idea was that you can switch programs by just typing typing the first letter of the name of the program. So let's say you want to switch to Chrome. You just press C. You don't have to break your hand. I've had this idea for a long time and I was done having strokes. So I implemented a simple prototype in AutoKey. You just press the activation button, right shift in this case, and you just switch the program. What the hell is AutoKey? It's a scripting language for Windows to automate macros, keyboard input, mouse input. I should probably be careful because AutoKey is kind of like a cult following, but it's trash. And my version of the program also had performance issues. I used to press a key and it just like didn't care bro to start making this program i just need a little bit of ui i need to draw something to the screen and that is just a little bit of text i don't need anything fancy i don't even need buttons i just want text for now and i need to interact a little bit with the windows api why is a fly flying here? that should be super easy i hope it is it was now when I start a new project, I would usually ask ChatGPT to get a quick overview of things. But back then, there was no ChatGPT. I know, scary. I'm sorry for the jump scare. So I just Googled to find a good UI framework library. Someone suggested React Native. Looking at the new Windows 11 start menu, I think that wouldn't have been a good idea. Then someone also suggested Electron. Looking at Discord, I think that wouldn't have been a good idea. So at the time, I did a ton of things in Unity and I, I knew C Sharp already pretty well. So I was thinking, hmm, maybe it's a good idea to make Windows apps in C Sharp because, you know, Microsoft made Windows and C Sharp. I mean, Microsoft, the multi-billion dollar company, makes an OS, makes a language. Probably the language has some good ways of making programs in their OS. So I started searching how to make Windows apps in C Sharp and I found just, just a few options. WinUI is a native user experience UX framework for both Windows Desktop and UWPF. So at that point, I was thinking, okay, you know what? I don't need anything crazy. I'm just going to use WinForms. It's the Microsoft Windows UI library. That should be good enough. Okay, so I decided the library. Okay, how do I actually start making UI now? I just had to follow these simple steps. Step one, download Visual Studio. Not the Soy Dev VS Code version, but the actual Chad, Giga Chad Visual Studio version that crashes the moment you try to code in it. Download .NET development. Create a new WinForms project and find out how the hell stuff even works because at this point I was like a chicken thrown into water bro I didn't even know what I didn't even know what to do ah! but you know what documentation is for beta males real men don't need it so I did random things until they worked when there was an issue I just googled but I'm not used to things being actually easy to do to create UI you just make a form and you open it in the designer now when you want to add a button for example you just go over the toolbox get the button boom and you got a button. It works by generating code hidden away somewhere. You don't have to think about it. Don't think about it. It's so easy. Look, people much smarter have done the work for you. Until Microsoft personally appears in your room, vomits random errors onto your computer that you have to fix for the rest of the day. Now we have the UI part checked. The next thing that we have to do is we have to get keyboard input from the user and do something based on that. So in WinForms, there's a built-in way to get keyboard input, but that only works when the program is actually open. But what we need to do is whatever program is open, even if you have open Candy Crush Saga, it doesn't matter. We have to get the input from the user. So I had to use something else called a low-level keyboard hook. What the hell is that? This is the lowest software level of input that you can get from the Windows OS to actually do something with the input. Using the hook we can now get keyboard input from any program. So that means that if I press right shift I should be able to see my program open up. 
wow incredible it actually works who would have guessed the code that i wrote months ago still works after that miracle we have a few things left to do first for windows switcher 9000 we have to do the actual windows switching to do that we need to list all open programs there's something called enum windows which allows you to enumerate over every single open window wait a minute that sounds like that's what i need well except it gives you every window and windows has got a bunch of random windows running at all times doing random windows things yeah the task bar yeah, that's a window yeah the battery meter yeah that's a window as well i'm on a desktop you see i don't even have a battery instead of that we use enum windows and check whether the window is a sane window and not a billy window and if it is a billy window we just don't add it to the list now let's see how this works it looks fine, but when I activate Windows Switcher 9000 and press a key fast enough, it doesn't detect the key press. I guess what's happening is that I start the program. While it's starting up, I press the switching key, and so it doesn't register the key press because it's still starting up. One thing I did suspect at the time as a master detective is that maybe the WinForms UI is too slow. What? And that could be slowing us down, but I mean, that can't be the case. I mean, it's probably so well optimized and it worked. WinForms was the issue. I've written all my code on top of WinForms, and if I change WinForms and use another UI library, I have to rewrite everything. Oh, hell no! Maybe I can just use direct draw commands instead of the UI handling the layout. Through my vast, incomprehensible knowledge, I found out that there's something called GDI, which actually allows you to do that. So let's just rewrite all of the code. That's gonna be exciting. This is our new code. It's amazing. It's incredible. Do you see this? Who wrote that old code? I have no idea. Can't be me. And oh my god, it's working. Incredible. The whole point of the whole reason I use WinForms was to do the UI handling, but I had to handle the UI myself anyways. That's working now, but there's still two problems left. And once I fixed them, I thought I was done. But then something shocking happened. When there are two programs with the same letter, C for example, I have to write a program which fixes those conflicts it assigns a second letter to the activation key sequence next we store a j config file the user can change it so that instead of opening chrome with c you can open it by typing chrome or by typing browser and the last thing i had to do was to make a simple ui a really beautiful ui might i add and with that hard work done i could finally relax i built my program i started using it myself and i was done from the shackles of alt tab i was living in bliss then I gave the program to my brother as well to make him addict. He was having an absolute blast until he wasn't. The program was still too slow on his PC. I guess I have no other choice than to rewrite it in C. 